Now let's look at the parts of a compounding twin screw extruder. This is a twin screw extruder with its guards on. We'll remove them to show you the barrel, heaters, and cooling system. The removal is for demonstration purposes only. Never operate your extruder this way. This is the motor and drive system. This is the primary feed port. Twin screw extruders used for compounding often have several downstream feed ports. This is the extruder barrel. Inside the barrel, the twin screws are installed. Around the outside of the barrel are the barrel heaters. The barrel also has a cooling system. This one uses an internal liquid cooling system. Some extruders use cooling fans. Here is a vent and vacuum port for devolatilization of the melt. Most compounding twin screw extruders will have a vent port. The die for shaping the plastic is installed at the end of the barrel. The type of die used depends on the final product desired.